The price of Bitcoin has had a spectacular run since 2010. In spite of this impressive performance, opinions remain divided on the subject of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. On one side of the divide, cryptocurrency prices are without foundation and represent nothing more than a speculative bubble that will eventually burst. On the opposite side of this divide, cryptocurrencies are the way of the future and current valuations are not only justified, they are poised to go even higher. Two considerations that favor higher prices are the acceptance of cryptocurrencies as payment for goods and services and their potential to represent a new investment asset class made up of companies that are on the cutting edge of innovation. In consideration of cryptocurrencies as money and currency, a growing number of people and businesses are beginning to recognize that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general are similar to conventional types of money and currency. The cryptocurrency market is currently dominated by Bitcoin and Ethereum. As of September 2017, the market capitalization for all cryptocurrencies is $147 billion. Gold reserves held by central banks worldwide, dominated by the United States, Germany, and the International Monetary Fund, are worth $1.26 trillion based on a price of $1,200 per ounce of gold. This compares to the narrow measure of currency supply M1, dominated by Chinese yuans, Japanese yen, US dollars, and euros issued by Germany, valued at $31 trillion. In consideration of cryptocurrencies as investment assets, using the S&P 500 Total Return Index as a benchmark for equities, Bitcoin has outperformed stocks by a very wide margin every year since 2010, with the exception of 2014. As expected, Bitcoin's superior performance comes with a high degree of risk. Compared to the S&P 500 index, Bitcoin was much more volatile in every year since 2010, but its return versus risk ratio was also much higher. Significantly, Bitcoin's returns have been uncorrelated with returns on the S&P 500. The addition of uncorrelated assets to a portfolio reduces risk through diversification and is essential to building and managing successful investment portfolios. In comparison to a market cap of $147 billion for all cryptocurrencies as of September 2017, the U.S. bond market is worth $38 trillion, the Japanese market $12.5 trillion, the Chinese bond market $10 trillion, and the global bond market as a whole $98 trillion. The global market cap for listed stocks, led by the U.S., China, and Japan is worth $66 trillion. For investors and portfolio managers in insurance companies, pension funds, mutual funds, wealth funds, and other investment firms worldwide, cryptocurrencies may represent a new asset class of companies with innovative applications, high expected returns, and low correlation with traditional asset classes. Worldwide, as of 2017, the total estimated market cap of bond and stock markets, M1 supplies, and central bank gold reserves is worth $196 trillion. The demand for cryptocurrencies is expected to grow over time as more people and businesses adopt cryptocurrencies as an alternative to existing types of currency and money, and as more investors and portfolio managers integrate cryptocurrencies into their asset mix. In terms of money and currency, as of September 2017, the cryptocurrency market cap led by Bitcoin at a price of $4,350 per coin is equal to less than one half of 1% of the amount of circulating currency. As an illustration, if cryptocurrency usage were to increase to 1% of global M1, the cryptocurrency market cap would rise to $0.3 trillion. Assuming the same proportion as of 2017, a market cap of $0.3 trillion 
will translate to a price of $9,100 per Bitcoin. An increase in cryptocurrency usage to 5% of global M1 would translate to a price of $45,700 per Bitcoin. And an increase in usage to 10% of global M1 to a price of $91,500 per Bitcoin. In terms of asset management, the cryptocurrency market cap as of September 2017 is less than one-tenth of 1% 1 of the market cap of bonds and stocks globally. If investors and portfolio managers were to allocate to their asset mix the equivalent of one-half of 1% 1 of this market cap to cryptocurrencies, the cryptocurrency market cap would rise to $0.8 trillion, or $24,200 per Bitcoin. An equivalent 1% allocation to cryptocurrencies would translate to a price of $48,400 per Bitcoin, and an equivalent 3% allocation to a price of $145,100 per Bitcoin. Cryptocurrencies have tremendous potential, but the underlying technology will need time to develop and be realized into applications. Although the path forward will remain volatile, the destination may be transformational as cryptocurrencies gain acceptance as currency and as investment funds begin to flow into the cryptocurrency market in a global effort to diversify risk and build optimal portfolios.